hello friends in this video i will show you how to create a view pager in sketchware here i have created this view pager which contains these three pages these are the three pages red green and blue and there is a tab layout at the top this tab layout contains three tabs corresponding to these three pages now the first page contains a switch for which the text changes when this switch is switched on or switched off in tab layout 2 there is a text view when this text view is clicked it displays text view 1 clicked and in tab 3 there is a button when this button is clicked it says it shows button 1 clicked now I will show you how to create this in sketchware so this is main.xml of my project here I have added a linear layout for which height and width are match parent now for the three pages I will create and add the view pager to this linear one and I have created three different pages in custom view in custom view I have added page 1 page 3 and page 5 dot xml in page 1 dot xml I have set background to red and I have added switch 2 in page3.xml I have set background to green and I have added text view 1 in page5.xml I have added button 1 now let's move back to main.xml here in on create event first I have created a view pager and set adapter for it by using this particular code here I have created a new view pager called view pager 1 and I have set adapter for this view pager 1 as new my pager adapter and after that I have set the current item of this view pager to 0 now the next part of code here I have defined a new tab layout by writing this tab layout equal to new tab layout this so this is a new tab layout for this tab layout I have set up with view pager view pager 1 so this means this tab layout is set up with this view pager which is view pager 1 and after that I have added it to the app bar layout which is the parent of toolbar so I have got the app bar layout by writing underscore toolbar dot get parent and then I added the tab layout to app bar layout so app bar layout will contain the toolbar first and after that it will display the tab layout and after that I have added the view pager to linear one by writing linear one dot add view view pager one all this is there in on create event now here I have set the adapter to my pager adapter now this my pager adapter has been defined in another add source cycle block here I have added a more block extra in this more block extra I have used add source directly block and here I have put a closing curly bracket to close the more block after that I have created a list of pages by writing int page id the pages are r.layout.page1 r.layout.page3 and r.layout.page5 so I am using these three pages which are my custom views and after this after creating this list of pages I define the adapter which is my pager adapter and it is a kind of pager adapter in this adapter I first get the total number of pages by writing public int get count and that is equal to return page id dot length now this page id is this list of pages so the length of this page id which is equal to 
3 in this case will be the count. After this, I get the title of the pages by writing at override public character sequence get page title int position. Now here I create a list of page titles which is a list of strings and I set the title says tab 1, tab 2, tab 3 and then I return page title position. So the, it means it will return the title at the position selected. After that, I use public object instantiate item view collection int position. So this will get the view which is to be displayed in view pager. So first I get the view from the id. So suppose the position is 0, then I will get view view equal to get layout inflated dot inflate page id position. So if position is 0, it will get the page id which is at 0 position. So page id at 0 position is r dot layout dot page 1. So it will inflate page 1 and get the view from page 1. So that will be the view of that will be this view and after that I add this view to the view pager and after that I for each page since there are different items on different pages I have to use if else blocks. So here I use if position is equal to 0 then I use this code. If position is equal to 0, then I define the switch, define a switch called tab1 switch1. This is name of the switch is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot switch2. This is the id of the switch on the first page, the red page, which is page 1. So in this way I define the switch on page 1 and after that I set an on checked change listener for this switch 1 and on checked changed what I do is I define a boolean is checked equal to param2 which is again a boolean and then if it is checked then I set the text of this switch to switch on otherwise I set the text of this switch to switch off. So all this is there in if position equal to 0 and if position is equal to 1 then in that case the page is page 3.xml which contains a text view. So here the code I use is final text view tab to text view 1 is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view 1. So here this text view 1 is the id of text view in page 3 dot xml. This view is page 3 dot xml. The view is what has been defined here at the top as get layout inflated dot inflate page id position. So in this case when position is equal to 1 view will be page3.xml. So from page3.xml I get text view 1 and that is defined as this text view tab 2 text view 1. For this tab 2 text view 1 I set an on click listener and when it is clicked I show the message text view 1 clicked and then if position is equal to 2, here I define the button which is there in page5.xml which is the third page. So I get that button from its id which is button1 and define it as tab3 button1. For this tab3 button1, I set on click listener and when this button1 is clicked, I show the message button1 clicked. So all this in instantiate item and in the end I return the view. 
and here the instantiate item is closed after that there is this method public void destroy item and then in the end there is public boolean is view from object so all this code which has been used here is provided at link in description of this video you can take it from there and that's all in this video